Is it a physical or is it a chemical change? Hi friends and welcome back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher, where it's all about science and STEM activities. Today we're talking about physical and chemical changes. I just lit this candle. Is it a physical change or is it a chemical change? When we're through at the end of this video, you will know the answer to this. Well, a physical change. Physical change is when we change something, but we don't change the substance of the matter. Like for instance, this piece of foil paper. We can change it the physical appearance of it by taking it and crumpling it into a ball. Now we've changed it to a different size and a different shape, but we have not changed it to a new substance. This floor paper is the same and I can take it apart and reopen it and put it back almost to the shape it was before. That is part of a physical change. What are some other things that are physical changes? Well, if you take that same paper and you tear it, now we have a physical change. Something that we change the appearance of it. And do you know that we can even change the color of it and get a physical change? Other examples of physical changes? Well, if we just take water, some flour, mix the two together, or we just take some flour, some salt, and some sugar, we mix the three together, we're going to get a physical change. We have not changed anything to any of those three substances, but all we did was mix the three together. Well, if that's the physical change, what is the chemical change then? Well, when we have a chemical change, now we can change the substance. We're going to notice a chemical change. For instance, now we see how the candle stem is burning and it's changed colors. And you can see the red on it and you can see that the stem is no longer white and it has changed its appearance. Now we have a chemical change. If we take that same flour, sugar, salt, add some milk and eggs and we put it in the oven and we bake a cake, we have a new substance, the kind we would love to eat. And we have a chemical change. We can have a chemical change when we see the odor is different, we smell the odor like this candle smells delicious, or if we see like a banana and it's old and it's rotten and it begins to smell, you have a chemical change. So we have physical and chemical changes happening all around us, but have we ever thought what would it take to make a chemical change? We're going to look at three solutions to decide if we have a chemical change or a physical change. The first solution we're going to look at, we're just going to take some sand we're going to add the sand to the cup and we're going to add some H2O, water. Let's stir it. What do you think? Is this a physical change or a chemical change? We're going to come back to this one. Our second solution is calcium chloride, and it's just these little beads, put it up close so you can see it, white substance, and let's see what type of change we're going to have. 
we're going to add water again. We're going to stir it. Now, if you notice, the beads are starting to dissolve. Is it a chemical change or is it a physical change? All right. And let's look at the next one. Our third one, we're going to take some baking soda. a little bit in there and we're going to add some vinegar is it a physical change or is this a chemical change okay so let's go back and look at all three so first we have our sand and water. Did you say if it was a physical or did you say a chemical change? If you said a physical change, you are correct because we did not change anything but we just mixed the two together. Some of the sand dissolved a little bit but most of it's still in there. And if we sit this in the sun, it can reverse because the water could evaporate and dry the sand back out. Let's look at this one. All right, did you say physical or chemical change? Notice all the beads dissolved in the water. If you said physical, you are correct. The calcium chloride, it just dissolved into the water. So what we have is a physical change. Now let's look at our baking soda and vinegar. Did you say physical or chemical? This one is chemical. If you said chemical change, you are correct. And how do we know? Because we have bubbles forming, our substance has changed to a different substance, and those bubbles are lifted up because of the chemical reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar. Can you think of some other physical changes? or chemical changes. For instance, water. If we take water and we freeze it, it turns to ice. Is that a physical or is that a chemical change? Well, the substance is the same and it can be reversed. It is a physical change. What if we took a hand warmer Hand warmer has these little filings, these little shaved pieces of iron in here and some sand and other things mixed in it. And when you take it out and it's exposed to oxygen, it begins to warm up. Now, when these little filings begin to warm up, they begin to change. They become oxidized over time, sometimes a fast reaction, sometimes slower. And when they become, uh, start to kind of more of a rusted look, we have a chemical change. So physical and chemical changes occur. Think of some things and come up with a list and leave me a note in the comment section of things that you've seen that have a physical change, things that you have seen that have a chemical change. And we will be able to look at those examples and share them with each other. Now that you have a good understanding of chemical and physical changes, 
Now you understand that matter can come in all forms. Matter can be changed whether we're cooking, whether we're cutting, we can change matter. And the physical properties are different from the chemical properties. Physical changes occur when you're boiling water, chopping wood, crumpling paper, cutting paper, changing your paper into a different shape, mixing sugar and water, mixing salt and water, you're going to have a chemical, I mean a physical change, even freezing water. But with the chemical change, remember, bubbles can be released, an odor can be released, burning wood, uh, mixing uh, bread and baking it in the oven, adding yeast to ingredients and baking in the oven. So cooking, all sorts of things that we do, burning wood to get a chemical change. All right, friends, I hope you learned a lot today by watching my video, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Have a great day.